Hi, I'm Dan Lopez, product manager here at American Orthodontics. Today I'd like to take you through a quick representation of proper activation of the PowerScope 2 Class 2 corrector. PowerScope 2 comes with new activation lines to assist in determining proper activation of the appliance. Each line represents a reference level of activation ranging from no activation to partial activation to full activation. It is recommended to fully activate the appliance for effective treatment. A properly activated PowerScope 2 appliance will deliver 260 grams of force during treatment. First, you ask the patient to bite in maximum intercuspation and reference the visual lines to determine if activation is required. Pull back the middle tube using an instrument such as a dental probe, wine guard, or mathau to check the space between the lower screw housing and the mesial portion of the middle tube. Next, determine the size crimpable shim needed for activation of the appliance. Crimpable shims are available in one, two, and three millimeter sizes. Have the patient open and place the crimpable shim on the lower push rod, making sure that the shim is flush with the lower screw housing to avoid overactivation of the appliance. Please note that a fully active PowerScope 2 appliance will have two to three millimeters of the middle tube exposed from the outer tube. I think it's worthy to note that depending on the severity of the class two or the, the size of the dentition of the patient, it may be necessary to activate the power scope right at the initial installation appointment. Also, uh, as a reminder, each time the patient comes in for their four to six weeks checkup, uh, we need to check and see if more activation is necessary. Uh, operating the appliance at the full 260 grams of force uh, will be more efficient tooth movement. You can visit AmericanAuthor.com slash PowerScope for more information on the PowerScope 2 Class 2 Corrector.